to Miss Laurie. Today we're going to continue with our stories about rainbow fish. The stories are written by Marcus Pfister. Um, today's story in our collection um, is called Rainbow Fish and the Big Blue Whale. A long way out in the deep blue sea, Rainbow Fish and his friends swam happily through the reef. Each of them had a glittering silver scale, except for a little striped fish. But he belonged to the group anyway. When the fish were hungry, they ate tiny krill. There seemed to be an endless supply of delicious shrimp. Rainbow Fish only needed to glide gently through the water with his mouth open to catch as many as he wanted. It was a wonderful life. One day, a gentle old whale swam by the reef and decided to stay. He liked the spot since he too ate the krill that were so plentiful there and he enjoyed being surrounded by the glittering fish. Often he drifted along, watching them for hours, admiring their beautiful silvery scales. La, 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 la. Before long, the fish with the jagged fins noticed the whale was watching them. Why is he looking at us like that? He asked the others. He was in a particularly bad mood that day. Oh gosh, not that guy again. Start in trouble again. See how he's staring at us? He went on irritably. Who knows what he's thinking? What do you think that guy's looking at us for? What's he up to anyway? I don't trust him. After that, all the fish grew more and more suspicious of the whale. Look at that giant mouth said one. Soon the krill will all be gone. Rainbow Fish began to worry. Hmm. Until now, the fish had always been able to eat their fill. What if the whale did eat up all the krill? And why did he keep staring at them? Was he planning to eat them too? Yum, 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 I like krill. Yum, 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 I like krill. One day, the whale swam quite near the school of glittering fish. Panicked, the fish with the jagged fins sounded the alarm. Look out, he called. The wicked whale is after us. When the whale heard that, he was hurt at first. <laughs> but soon he grew angry. I'll show them, he thought. I'll teach them a lesson. So the great big whale shot into the middle of the school and lashed out with his gigantic tail, sweeping the sparkling fish in all directions. The terrified fish fled, racing towards a crack in the reef for safety. But the whale didn't leave them alone. He followed Rainbow Fish and his friends all the way back to their cave. The whale swam back and forth, casting sinister glances at the little fish. They were trapped. I told you the whale was dangerous, whispered the fish with the jagged fins. We have to watch out for him. After a while, the whale calmed down and he made one last pass that disappeared behind the reef. Nervous, but driven by hunger, the fish cautiously left their cave and swam off in search of food. But the battle with the whale had left its mark. All the krill had been driven off. This is silly, declared the rainbow fish, before we played happily in the sea. Now we hide in terror in our cave. Before, there was always enough food for everyone. Now we have nothing. We must make peace with that whale. The other fish were too afraid to approach the whale. It was up to Rainbow Fish. 
The whale stared at Rainbow Fish suspiciously. Please, let's talk, said Rainbow Fish. This fight was all a big mistake. It drove off the krill and now we're all hungry. The two talked for a long time. The whale told Rainbow Fish how hurt and angry their hostile words had made him. I never meant to harm you, said the whale, just to scare you a little. Rainbow Fish was ashamed. I'm sorry, he said. But when we saw you watching us all the time, we were afraid you might eat us. The whale looked shocked. I watched you only because your shining scales were so pretty, he said. They both laughed. <laughs> Come now, said the whale. Let's find new hunting grounds. So Rainbow Fish and his friends, protected by their new friend, the big blue whale, swam off together in search of a new home rich with krill. And before long, none of them could remember what the terrible fight had been about. The end. Hope you enjoyed today's story. This story had a great moral too, just like our other stories, didn't it class? We should never jump to conclusions like that jagged little fish did. That's always starting trouble. He just didn't. He wanted to believe that the whale was up to no good and wanted to harm them. But he didn't. He was just admiring their beauty. So instead of getting upset and thinking the worst of people, we should just talk to them. All right, friends. It was nice reading to you again today. Bye.